Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just another quick Insta360 tutorial for you today. What we're going to be taking a look at is how to combine multiple 360 videos in a timeline right within the Insta360 app. You may have been out filming for the day or perhaps got back from a trip and you have 20 or 30 different clips, 360 clips that you want to combine into one video. You want to trim them up. You can actually do that right within the Insta360 app. And on top of that, you can actually import video clips from other devices such as drones, action cameras, or even your smartphone and add them to the timeline in the Insta360 app as well. So with all that said, let's just jump right in and take a quick look. Now I'm going to be demonstrating on a tablet, but this works the same way if you're using a smartphone. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and launch our Insta360 app. And then we're going to go over to album. Now what I'm going to do is start with a clip here. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to cut it up into a few smaller pieces. It might be a 10 minute video, but there might only be a few segments that you want. The first thing we could do is tell it whether we want custom framing or we want to use the AI framing. Basically AI framing is going to pick the best perspectives that it thinks is best. Custom framing allows you to set your own framing. Of course, you can always go in and do keyframing and that as well. So that's just going to be user preference. For the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it on custom frame. Then I'm going to tap on editor. What it's going to do is bring up this tool here that allows us to trim up the video. Again, here we have our keyframing tools. So if we want to add movement or add specific perspectives, we can do so at this stage. Right now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And at the bottom here, we have some tools. The one I'm going to be using is called frame cut. So essentially, I'm going to go to where I want my first clip. I'm going to say right about there. And what I'm going to do is tap on frame cut. And now as I drag the timeline here, you can see it leaves this yellow section. Anything under that yellow section is what's going to be kept for the first clip. It also shows us how long the clip is. You can see right above that, it says 6.9 seconds. As I drag it, that number will go up. So now I've got a 12 second clip and I can hit confirm clip. And that's going to add the clip to our timeline, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. And we know it's been added because if we look under here under edit and export, it now says one. Now, if I go back here, you can see once I highlight over the playhead, it actually gives us some handles so we can do some manual trimming. If we want to shorten it down or make it a bit longer. At this point, we could also delete the clip. But I'm going to move along in the video here because say now I want a different perspective, maybe about there, but I want a front facing view. Again, I can hit frame cut, drag the timeline, and then I'll hit confirm clip again. So it's now added that as a second clip to the timeline, which again, we'll take a look at here in a second. So we can just go throughout the video and add as many clips as we want. At this point, we can also use deep track. That's going to keep us locked in the center. Once you're done, we can tap on edit and export. And at the bottom there, it's going to show you all the clips that we added. And from here, we can edit things even further. We can tap on a clip. We can adjust the speed. We can do some color correcting. And if we tap on that pencil icon, that allows us to add some interesting effects. We can trim it down even further if we want to make some adjustments to it. We can add some movement. So as the video is playing, you can see we added that little movement. And in between each clip, you can see we have this white box. If we tap on that, we can even add transitions from clip to clip. They have different movements and special effects. Now, if we go back and play it, you can see it added that transition. So now, as mentioned, say we have a whole bunch of 360 clips and we want to add it to the timeline. We want to add other footage to it. All we have to do is tap on this plus button here. You can see that's going to bring up the Insta360 gallery, 360 footage or content that we've transferred over to the device. So I can tap another clip. Perhaps we'll add this one as well. I'll tap on next. And as you can see, they were added to our timeline. Now it's just added the full video, but we can go in and edit it. We can trim it down. We can trim from the back and the front just to shorten the clip down, find the exact spot we want. If we want to select multiple segments of that clip, 
all we would do is make sure it's highlighted and then tap on select clip. And again, that will allow us to select multiple clips from that segment like we did at the beginning. But as mentioned, we can add footage from other devices, footage that was shot on our smartphone, our drones, or even our action cameras. So I'm gonna tap on the plus button again, but this time I'm going to select this button here where it says iPhone downloaded. From here, it allows us to select clips, clips that were not stored on the Insta360 app. Those were all captured on my iPhone. I hit next, and as you can see, they've been added to the timeline. And again, we can go in and trim them up if necessary, add movement and transitions. So as you can see, using this method, we can combine multiple 360 videos into one timeline. We can add footage from other devices. Then when we're ready, we can export it. We can even set our aspect ratio. If we want more of a vertical video, we can do so as well. Once we've set the aspect ratio we want, we can tap on this yellow box here, the up arrow. That's going to allow us to export the footage. And it's gonna give us the option to export the full video, the whole timeline, or we can export just the clip that we have highlighted. So yeah, the Insta360 app is a really handy tool, not only for editing your 360 footage, but also doing full edits and combining multiple clips. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.